I see fire. Wait. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I see fire. What the fuck? Don't tell me. The abyss. Strange for power. Ordinary heroine was truly able to witness the end of the pitch dark path. How would she have faced the discovery she would make? Oh my god. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh shit. Okay. To the exploration team, I'm sincerely sorry for leaving on such a short notice. I'm grateful for your help along the way, but it's a pity that I can't keep working together with you. Jin Wu, please don't feel upset about my departure. I trust that among the up unbecoming and foolhardy young adventurers that you've looked for, I'm one but one helpless fool. I hope that I haven't been a big headache for you, and although I've left, I've left you with all good memories. If I ever had any family, you'd be the one dearest to me. There are so many memories that I haven't yet had time to share with you. It's a shame that I could done. It's a shame that it was done in such a haphazard fashion. I didn't get to carry out much background research or fine tune the wording. I regret not being able to come up with better sounding names for you and the others. Anyway, thank you for taking care of me, but I prefer adventuring alone to being looked after by my seniors. Mr. Kadive, please forgive my willfulness. I understand that you have your concerns. Maybe it's just as you said. The secrets hidden in the depths of the chasm are beyond mere mortals. Maybe that's why the reason. Maybe that's the reason why the exploration took a toll on me, as I'm not blessed with a vision. But still, I can't help wondering if those famed adventurers like Leonard, Stanley, and Rold ever witnessed the same marvel as I—the stone halls of old crawling into the darkness, the dark purple mud gushing out like lava, the translucent azure crystals floating in the air. The damaged stone tablets carved with maps of ancient places, and so many other indescribable wonders. Would those great adventurers have backed out for the fear of danger, or would they have acted as recklessly as I, persisting in pursuing the inscrutable secrets of the world, even at the uh, price of their common and less dignified lives? Mr. Kadiva, as a scholar, and also a mere mortal like me, what would your choice be in such a circumstance? Clotofo? Please accept my apologies for my previous distrust and willfulness. I don't have it in for you, despite your annoyingly sneaky ways. Treasure hoarder background, impoliteness to Jinwu, lack of hygiene awareness when making drinks, complete disregard to the safety regulations of the ministry, and reluctance to the warnings. In spite of all your faults, I don't think they really matter to me. As your friend, I regret not being able to meet you earlier. Mooning, I'm sorry, but I'll be able to report in at my post. Thank you all for your efforts in helping me land a job at the Ministry. Without you, I would have been thrown out of the chasm the moment I entered it. Maybe the official offer from the Ministry will arrive after my departure. It sure did. Please keep it for me. I will treat you to dinner if I ever come back, and don't you forget it. Traveler, thank you for so much everything on this trip. Lynette, I'm going to call myself. You gave me good advice and came to my rescue for that. I'm forever grateful. It's a shame that I don't know how I can ever repay you. As someone blessed by the gods, you are bestowed with elemental powers that will aid you in your adventures. Although, I might not ever know the answer. I still wonder how you regard us mere mortals. In ancient times when heroes and Yaxus fought alongside Rex Lapis, when colossal boulders were halved to form the mountains, when giant rocks were cast from the skies to create seabeds, what was the place of mere mortals like us? whom the gods had neither noticed nor recognized. What are our mundane loves and hatreds, mundane happiness and tragedies, mundane achievements and accomplishments, mundane bonds and relationships? Are all these just something of no consequence in the eyes of the gods? 
Our ancient dwellings of the gods and those unfathomable scenes really far beyond the reach of commonplace human courage. It may seem disrespectful to ask these questions when Rex Lapis has only just left us, but when compared with the chosen ones who have gained the gods' blessings by chance, what are we mere mortals unnoticed by the gods to make of ourselves? We've also obtained dreams by chance, and we keep pursuing them throughout our busy, bustling lives. We don't want to be forgotten, and for that we strive hard to make even the slightest difference, or hang tough through laborious work every single day with the courage of an ordinary human. Are all these acts of no meaning? Think of those herb gatherers who dangle from the top of the cliffs, miners who work day in and day out despite the potential threat of earthquakes, and workers who derive every nail into a giant ship multiple floors in height. If their hard work is dismissed as mundane and unworthy of remembrance, I can't help but question the God's logic to favor some of our wishes and dignities over others. Well, this is where it all goes wrong, because as we learned from A, the gods don't grant these visions. I guess that's just a common misconception. With such questions in mind, I follow you into the uncertainty and danger in the depths of the chasm, pushing my limit as a mere mortal. I wouldn't say I've conquered or explored the area, but I hope that I can at least put the chasm into the map that I drew and edited. I want to mark the places that I've been to in the varying sceneries in the chasm with names that belong to mortals, names that belong to me. A lack of a smartest solution, I believe this is the only way to inspire those who come after me. I want to tell them how far someone who was not chosen by the gods can go, and what stories she may leave behind. Please worry not for me, my journey has only just begun. Once I've done taking a breather, I'll march deeper in. Thank you for helping me clear the path ahead. I will continue venturing into the depths of the chasm until my strength fails me. Good luck, my fellow teammates. I hope that we will shall meet again in our journeys in the near future. And a little chibi to complete it. Oh my god. Where else could you go? Where else could you go? Like, down here is just a bunch of water. Like, where else could you have gone? In there? I don't think so. There's no way. Yeah, those those abyss mages were already there. And all these rocks just lead upward. You don't have anywhere to go, so Oh Yeah, you can't go in there. That's just a fucking rock. But where would you have gone? Okay, we need to go back to Chimur. Oh no. Jitsong. Oh god. It's a letter she left behind. She says she's gone deeper into the chasm. This girl. I've never really considered issues this big, so I can't really criticize her life choices, but perhaps perhaps I didn't acknowledge her discoveries in time or give her as much respect or understanding as I should have. It would have been immeasurably more difficult to complete our exploration without her maps, but only showed concern for her health instead of focusing on her hard work and what she'd done to so much to achieve. <laughs> how did I not realize how her work was always different from a miner's? She just doesn't want to be forgotten. What is this, Final Fantasy IX's Freya? Well, don't we all, as people who aren't favored by the gods. Don't we all, but has anyone been as obsessed as her? And yet, when I think about the moment when I gave up any thoughts of becoming great, when I realized I had gotten used to living day to ordinary day, I feel like I just don't have the right to judge Zuchong. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I hope you get to see her again. It just makes me immensely worried. 
Oh man. Where lies the true meaning of adventure? Oh man. 